Hey guys, welcome to my Let's Play of Castlevania Symphony of the Night for the Xbox 360, but originally ordered, uh, origin originated on the PlayStation 1 back in late 90s, I want to say. I, it's a little hard to explain. Anyway, um, I will say this now, that part 1 and 2 of this Let's Play uh, were pre-recorded, whereas most of the time, if I would, if I would do, do a Let's Play, it would... Um, it would be live, so I don't really know what's coming. Um, so I guess I will just basically talk about the game, but most of the time I really don't. I haven't played Bloodlines for the Sega for the Sega Genesis, but if this is the actual ending, then that's cool. Um, I always thought I'm, I always feel empowered when I have like a whip that like glows up like that, and um, yeah, I mean. I've played the PlayStation 1 version of this, but, um, here, I don't know how to throw my crosses or anything. I mean, I knew how to throw, throw it there, but here, um, I still haven't really got the basic controls. Like, it's not that hex, um, it uses the whip, and Y, uh, it gives you, like, a special attack, I guess. And see, I don't know why everybody praises Resident Evil for having the like, uh, uh, best unintentionally funny voice acting. I mean, I'll stop talking for a second, but just listen to this. This is ridiculous. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. But enough talk. How about you? Um, I don't know why, but the first time I played this, I couldn't get past the pot, which is funny because you basically can't die here because even when you die, your health will be regenerated. Um, by this little girl who I haven't played Bloodlines, so see when you click Y, that's what happens. Ten hell marries, bitch. Um, so I I'm guessing that she has to play some pot in Bloodlines because you can't just bring her there just to be like, hey, look, a little girl. She's gonna help Rick to Belmont. Um, I know that after you beat Symphony of the Night, you can actually play as Richter throughout the whole game, but I have no intention because Richter. And he's not as good as Alucard, because Alucard can, like, transform into a bat and shit, but Rick doesn't really do anything. I mean, he's not as interesting as, like, Simon Belmont or anything. Simon Belmont was cool. Richter is just... I mean, he's cool, but he's not great. And, um, I don't know, oddly enough, I, I'm not really the biggest Castlevania fan, but I do like this one. Um, I beat it somewhat years ago, uh, because I actually had the original game for this, but I think I like, sold it or something, I don't know. But, I mean, my local game store has it for, like, $30, so if I really wanted to, I'd just go back and buy it, but this week for the Xbox, um, it was a sale that this was only 400 Microsoft points, so I figured, you know, um, I already ordered the director's cut. See, there's a little girl. I, um... I had already ordered the director's cut of Resident Evil for the PlayStation 1, and I didn't want to really juggle both PlayStation games, but, um, in the past month or so, I've gotten a lot of games. Um, I've gotten, like, including this, uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, uh, Portal 2, Mortal Kombat 9, um, Super Meat Boy, I pre-ordered Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, uh, I'm gonna pre-order Duke Nukem sometime soon this month. Uh, I'm gonna go to the game store sometime soon and either buy uh, Chrono Trigger for the DS or Dragon Quest IX Sentinels of the Stars, guys. Because I have an emulator uh, for uh, SNES, but right now I'm using it for my second playthrough over about AKA Mother 2 in Japan. And the, the other games I have on there are Final Fantasy VI, AKA Final Fantasy III in the US, Chrono Trigger and Super Mario RPG Leg Legend of the Seven Stars. Yeah. Um, but there's actually a, a little story between all of them. Uh, for Earthbound, this is my. S I'm using SNES, a Z SNES, so this will be my second time playing it through on the Z SNES. For Chrono Trigger, I know it's coming to the VC uh, sometime this year, and um, I mean, I. I, I, I'm really big into RPGs, I'm not as big as I, not as big as I'd like to be, but I am, you know, I mean, I'm a really big fan of RPGs, but I don't know, it's like, I need an RPG on the go, basically, and, um, and I could play Chrono Trigger on the ZS, ZS and ES emulator, but that would only be until after I play through my second playthrough of Earthbound, because I don't really like juggling RPGs at once, because I like to delve into that one RPG and, real, and, and be just wrapped in the story, and if I was juggling a bunch of different ones, then it's just kind of like, well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not as into the story as I would like to be if I had just been involved with that one. Um, 
for Super Mario RPG, I already bought that on the virtual console, but we got a new TV like, like a couple months ago, and for some reason it won't play any of uh, the games on my virtual console. And the, the games I have on the virtual console are um, uh, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, Mega Man 2, and um, Super Mario Bros. 2, the Japanese version, the original. Um, for Mega Man 2, I know I can get that for the NES. I just bought it because I wanted to play it. I didn't really have any other way to play it other than emulation, and I wanted to you know, support Nintendo and Capcom. Um, for Super Mario Bros. 2, uh, I know you can get a 16-bit version on Super Mario All-Stars, but I thought it'd be cool just to play the actual original. I mean, I don't own a Famicom, and there's like there's a couple of games I'd like to get for the Famicom, but the problem is I can't read in Japanese. Like, um, one after I beat Earthbound, I'm gonna go on to play uh, Mother 3, and then after that, I am going to play the original Mother. Um, I've already gotten through like a lot of Mother, but um, I just you know at the time I just. I heard about Earthbound, and I'm like, wow, I, you know, I really want to play this one, so I kind of gave up on that, and I got rid of my NES emulator, so now I, I'm going to restart on that, but I, I mean, I haven't beaten it, but I already know the whole story behind it, and um, I apologize here that I paused. Actually, no, there's one point where I do pause where it's for an extended period of time where I didn't know how to save, so I apologize for that. Um, and the last game on my ZS NES emulator is Final Fantasy VI, aka Final Fantasy III in the US, and one of the biggest mistakes I will ever, I will always regret in my entire life is when I went to New York Comic Con in October of 2010. Um, they had a lot, uh, over there. They had a lot of video game booths, and I mean, a lot of it was <coughs> was it was too expensive. I mean, they tried to rip you off there because um, this guy was selling all these games and. One thing is that a lot of people were selling boxed copies of Ocarina of Time, but none of them were in good condition, because, I mean, I found some pretty cheap ones for about $20, but I'm one of those people who I don't really care about the boxes, per se, because as long as I have the game, I'm fine, because I have no use for the box other than, other than to display it. I mean, there are a couple games I'd like to get the box for, like Earthbound, um, but really, uh, I mean, unless... I, I'm, really, I'm really not willing to put up that kind of money for just to look at the box. I mean, Earthbound's different because you get the strategy guide, but at the same time, I know I already know a couple websites where you can actually read the strategy guide, um, or the travel walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. Um, for anyway, when I was at Comic Con, yeah, this this guy was selling all these games, and they were they were ridiculously priced. Like he was selling a game only version, a cartridge only of. Mega Man 2 for the NES, and he wanted that thing for fifty dollars. And I was just looking at it, and yeah, the the one of the one of the guys was at Comic Con. He he looks over to me and he says, "Man, that price is ridiculous." And we start and we talked for a bit. I'm like, "Yeah, this is absolutely ridiculous. I can go on Amazon.com and buy a buy one used for only seven dollars." But I, there were also actually some pretty good deals there. I found here's the power I pulse. I actually found a complete copy of Mario Paint with the mouse, the box, the and the you know. The, the pad and the game and everything for sixty dollars. I really should have bought that, but it was too big to lug around. And I also saw someone was selling a boxed copy of Final Fantasy III for only sixty dollars. I had sixty dollars, and I really wish I would have bought it because I was going to buy it. But then um, my dad's like, "Oh, you know, we'll go, we'll come back tomorrow because we had bought weekend passes." But we went up there. On, we went up there on Friday and went, uh, you know, the next day on Saturday and. Um, he said that, because they're, they're actually, they had, like, some one guy was selling a lot of boxed, uh, NES games, like, he was selling Kid Icarus boxed for only, like, $50, and he was selling, like, a sealed, uh, copy of Super Mario Brothers for the NES for only, like, $50, and I'm like, damn, you know, what? that's actually a really good deal, that's actually a really good deal, and, um, so he's like, oh, you know, what? we'll come back tomorrow. And I'm like, oh, okay, so I figured, you know, I'll just come back tomorrow, I know, I'll get Final Fantasy 3 then, and yeah. And he, the next day, and I, I don't blame my dad, he looked very tired that day, and I, I, I'm not, I don't want to mean anything I say towards him in a bad way, I don't want to be like, oh, god damn you, dad, I can't believe you didn't take me again. Um, but I was a little disappointed, because he said, um, yeah, I mean, I am getting pretty tired, if you want, we, we can just go home, we can just go, uh, back up to, you know, where I live, and we can go see a movie, and I'll buy you a game there, and, you know, I really, I really should have said, Dad, you know, I really want to go back, but, I mean, I really just, I was tired, too, I had already seen everything, because by, by, like, two or three o'clock, it was getting, it was getting excessively packed, and, I mean, 
it was already sold out, so that's kind of, ex that's kind of, you know, uh, known. But it was to the point where I felt like a penguin, and I had to wobble my way around. Um, they had some good deals there, though. Um, some guy, uh, I mean, this, this group there was selling, uh, one of the groups there was selling, uh, a cartridge-only gold version of, uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for the Nintendo 64. I think it was only, like, $16, and I, I was really stingy about my money. I, I, like, the whole time I thought, you know, I'm gonna find that one thing, and I'm gonna spend all my money on it. And I don't know why my, I don't know why, but I, I just had a feeling that someone would be selling Earthbound, and even, even if it was in terrible condition, it was the cartridge-only, as long as I had a copy, I would be completely fine. Um, and, I mean, yeah, uh, there, there was another, <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to go like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there was another group there who was selling Japanese-only games, but they were expensive, too. Like, someone was selling, a, uh, like a Japan, yeah, I think someone was selling like, a Famicom that was sealed but wasn't in the box. Um, they wanted, like, a hundred-something for it, and I'm sure that's a good deal, but I'm, I mean, I would have to get a translator for these games because, and I know you can't really put a translator on your actual Famicom, I'm talking about emulation, per se, um, but I know something like Mother, they already have an English copy that you can get on an emulator, so I don't, wouldn't really need it for that, but I'm talking about games like Takashi Castle and that kind of stuff, where I like to play those games which were exclusive only to Japan, and, um, yeah, I mean, uh, to wrap it all up, Comic-Con has a lot of expensive shit that I couldn't, that I could have afforded, but didn't buy. Um, but Final Fantasy 3, I really don't like to run on an emulator, because, I don't know, I just think I'd rather just play in person. I don't know if it's on the virtual console or not. I want to say Final Fantasy 2, aka Final Fantasy 4 in Japan, is on the VC, but I don't know, I'll have to check sometime. Um, this Let's Play is almost over. I'm sorry if I've been boring all of you. Uh, you don't have to watch it all. I just appreciate, you know, the views and everything. I appreciate the recognition. Um, part two is already done, but I don't know when I'll film it, because making this one alone was such a pain in the ass, because with all the clips, which are divided individually, I had to set all the volumes at an exact moment. I had to press the backspace 35 times each, and there are about... 50 clips in total, and that renders to about 14 minutes 35 seconds, and it'll have it'll take a while to save, it'll take a while to upload, and I'd rather just not deal with it all today. I'm going out to dinner later at my mom's Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day, and um yeah, I have about two minutes left, so I guess I'll just wrap it up here. Um. I wish I'd spent some money at Comic-Con. The money I could have spent, my dad bought for me. I got a couple posters. Um, but yeah, uh, I think it's funny how in the, the one of the books they gave you, give you, they say no bootleggers allowed, but I saw a, ta I saw a guy at a table who was selling nothing but bootlegs. Like, he was selling a bootlegged copy of Evil Dead the Musical, which has, ne which has yet to be released on DVD. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. But <laughs> it was pretty cool. Um... Alright, I have, you know, about a minute left, and, uh, the reason why I didn't record this live with my, you know, voice, because I've, uh, yesterday I bought season one of The Big Bang Theory, and I'm watching all of that, and I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so, thank you everyone for watching, uh, if you actually sat through the whole video, I congratulate you, you deserve an achievement, but I don't have any with me right now, but I'll give it to you sometime. Um, so I guess I will just leave you with me sucking terribly at Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Thanks for watching.